hey y'all what's good it's Tori and Goddess I'm coming in with a message I hope everybody's doing all right tonight I got in front of me somebody need to stay encouraged yeah my G says stay encouraged you going through some sibling rivalry right now stay encouraged through that I got a bunch of siblings those who aren't family and those who are family and i go through sibling rivalry with them on a regular basis y'all hear me it's because we love each other somebody old school they're sapiosexual classy suit and tie type kind of sexy debonair they built old school that's how they shoot from their hip. They shoot everything old school. My G said they solid. That's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm talking to. An old school debonair type. Suit and tie. Suit and tie type. A sapiosexual. Somebody who was most stimulated through intellectual conversation. A meeting of the minds. That's, that's who I'm talking to right now. My G's want you to stay encouraged through this sibling rivalry you got going on. They said you got a fear of moving forward, too. You're not on your right path. They said you with a karmic. Put it in Siri or your Google search engine and see what it means. So you can have a greater understanding. They said you are not on your right path. You are with a karmic. You got a fear of moving forward. My G said you love hard. You loyal. You intuitive as hell. But it's some betrayal that you are experiencing. And my G said it's monumental. It's so big in nature that you feel stuck. You bored too. You bored, my G said. You, you lost some interest. I'm feeling like this sibling rivalry, it's not going to blow over. It needs to be a meeting of the minds. Um, Y'all need to talk that out. Because it's not any water under the bridge. Somebody thinking about burning the bridge. and Why burn the bridge with your sibling? Don't do that. Whatever differences y'all are having, y'all need to talk it out. Even tempered. Keep emotions out of it if it's possible. You know? Keep emotions out of it. My G says you're being kind of foolish. They said you're a phenocket head, a dummy. That's what me and my day ones call foolish individuals. Um, something feels like it's kismet. Very seductive in nature. Romance, that's what they're saying. Something is very alluring to your eyes and has appeased your senses. But my G says you got a fear of moving forward and you're you're not on the right path. It says you your family values need to be up. That got to do with this sibling rivalry. It says your family values, you need to Lean towards those. What was instilled in you before you jumped off the porch? What was instilled in you during your youthful years, you know? Because everybody I talk to 30 and over. I got some 21 and over, too. Something about a Leo in this spring. Is that Leo one of your siblings? I have a Leo and an Aquarius in the springtime. Something about some betrayal. I said I'm talking to somebody who old school, somebody who intuitive, somebody who wise. So...
some judgment coming down or either the law is involved or will be involved or somebody about to put a stop to some things. Is it the sibling rivalry? I got Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. My G said, pay attention. Somebody needs to be a little bit more humble because that's who you are. You gentle, you loving in nature, you kind, and you got old school knowledge. They want you to be wise about some things. They want you to be wise and they want you to move forward. They want you to move forward, nip some things in the bud. If it's this sibling rivalry, I said it's needed. It's needed. That can bring on all type of hardships when you got the one who you grew up in the house with. You, you going through changes with that person. It's probably a, it's a close sibling is what I'm feeling. Get that, get that shit together. Who I'm talking to. What else? What else, y'all? What else? Somebody overindulging. Yeah. Somebody attuned to nothing with their pleasures. Food, sex, drinking. They said you in sync with that, but you need to. You a little too impulsive in nature. You need to do that in moderation. You eating too much and you drinking too much. You screwing too much too. That's what my Jesus said. That's that's what they said. But you satisfied. But too much of anything won't be good for us. You gonna be fat. And drained. So nobody want nothing fat and drained. Oh, they might though. It's somebody for everybody. Know that. Know that that you were designed for somebody and vice versa. Yeah, it's some kids involved here. It's some kids that's involved. And whoever I'm talking to, they thinking back about something that they attained, but it wasn't permanent. That was your wish fulfillment, your wish come true. Feel victorious there, strong. But something was an illusion through this wishful thinking. Somebody had too many opportunities and too many choices in love. Now, I feel like a sibling has stepped on another sibling's toes. That's that's what I'm feeling like. And somebody found out unexpectedly. It was real quick, too. A messenger of some sort. Somebody was making advances towards their sibling's mate. That ain't good. It's enough fish in the sea. It is why I step on your sibling's toes. Because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like somebody... This spring, they tried to mess with one of their siblings' boo things. Am I speaking to this old school suit and tie type, the one who's solid, whose loins are stimulated through intellectual foreplay? Did somebody step on your toes? Something was made illuminated. Something was made known. There is a fire sign involved. There's a fire sign involved in this. A fire sign and a water sign. Mm -hmm. 
And apparently a Taurus. I got a Scorpio, a Pisces, and a Taurus out here, and a Leo. It's been some quarrels. Somebody done came out of their shell and then pushed past go. They feel like they so libera liberated. This Leo well off. I want to say this Leo is popular. But that popularity, my G said, it's an illusion. You popular for the wrong reasons. Yeah, somebody was trying to step on somebody's toes, huh? What part of the game is that? Is what I want to know. And it came and fell in somebody's lap. It was creative how it came, though. It was unexpected, my G said. Yeah, it was... It was unexpected, but you confronted it all real calmly when these lives, these lies surfaced. It was some straight bullshit. It, it, it had you feeling some type of way. It was doubtful at first, but it was like, boom. My G said, don't panic, though. And he said, don't, don't panic. I'm glad you confronted it calmly. Whoever I'm talking to, they built differently. They they express themselves a little differently. But they this news, this news they just received from somebody young. Somebody young who they said been studying the situation. Yeah, they've been studying it. <clears throat> mm. This person is high strung who brought you this news. They just started something. They ain't in the beginning stages of something. They young, thinking they just got to a job or something, or they're going to school. They, they they about to put in some work with something that they just began. Mm -hmm. And they came and told you that somebody wanted yours. Somebody wanted yours. Somebody was dipping they low, they toe, in Lake Minnetonka. Mm -hmm. Somebody sure was. Somebody... Was dipping they low, they low, they low, they low as hell for that dipping they toe in Lake Minnetonka. So this person came to support you because they said you 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 wasn't paying attention. They said that you you wasn't paying attention. You intuitive as hell, but you wasn't paying attention because it's a sibling. You wouldn't have never thought that your sibling would cross these sorts of boundaries. This, this fire sign, this Leo, they're a change maker. They resilient as hell, my G said. They say when, when when some shit crop up and trying to oppose your strength, you don't show no weakness. They said you ain't soft at all. This person is not soft at all. They're accomplishing what they want, and they're not self-conscious about too much anymore. Is it a skill that what they do too? They sound like the jack of all trades. They working real hard right now. They job lightweight pissing them off too. Somebody need to remove the blindfolds to free yourself. Because you feeling a little trapped now with this conflict, with this bad news that they came. But it balanced you, my G said. And, and they want you. They want you to dip to that old school repertoire that you have and shoot that head over logic action. They say it's been some shit going on for a long time concerning your siblings. 
and patience is needed, but you on a mission. This is you honesty is needed too. Motherfuckers need to tell people how they feel and don't keep it in. Yeah, you gotta be true at heart. That's gonna nourish your soul. And it, it will bring forth a different type of relationship with your siblings. That's what my G said. Cause ain't none of y'all keeping it real with one another. That's why toes being stepped on. Balance needs to be restored. Cause somebody been getting downloads and been thinking that. Yeah, somebody been getting downloads and been thinking that shit. You 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 just had a dispute with one of your siblings too. You feel like it's always a struggle with them. You really don't have no judgment of them. Really, you I think you done pushed them, pushed them over there. Somebody got some health issues too. Mm hmm. Somebody got some health issues. And they acting like they don't have a good sense that God gave them. They don't use any discretion. And they always on the defense. So you kind of did step back from your sibling because they was extra with everything. And they had the incapacity to understand where you was coming from. My G said, so you did it, that shit. You feel like they wasn't trustworthy anyway. You was in the flow of some things, my G said. But it was something you wasn't paying attention to. They want you to stay encouraged, though. They said stay encouraged and take care of yourself. Recognize what you feel, though. Recognize when your energy depletes. That's an energy vampire. That's somebody who coming around just to suck up all that strong, that good energy. And, and, and recognize when you feel good around people. You know, when your energy rises, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Something going on with some money, too, with the siblings. Somebody don't think it's trustworthy, though. Some type of business. Whoever I'm talking to, though, my G said in the future... You're going to have these dilemmas in love, and it's going to disgust you. It's going to feel like it's some things that's imaginary happening, my G said, but they don't want you to have any fear or be vexed about these this fresh start that you're about to embark on, these new beginnings, these new cycles. They don't want you to give a fuck about nothing in your past. Your spirit going to still be vexed a little bit. You're going to be weary about some things. But storms don't last long. They pass. That's what my G said. That's what we know, though, right? We know storms pass. We know they pass. You on the threshold of something. Y'all about to have some disputes. It's going to be some shit said back and forth through messages. But it's it's all out of love, though. It's, it's all out of love. And somebody is having some regrets about stepping on some toes. They frustrated. They had, they got this, y'all got this love-hate relationship. So one or the other, if not both, always feeling some residual loss. Always. And somebody married in this situation. They married. And my G said, you neglected the good advice and the good counsel that you had. Why? Is what I heard because you spiritually inclined. You know your future not revealed to you, but you real intuitive. You can go down within and grab some secrets, they said, because you have esoteric 
knowledge is what they said. You neglected some instructions, some downloads, some prayers that have been answered. You neglected it. So judgment came through. A change, a deep change. You, you're going through a deep transformation. You understanding yourself and your mate right now. My, my, my G said pay attention to family details, though, because this sibling rivalry, mm -hmm. It don't, it don't sound good. This shit going on within the families is 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 one that's gonna be talked about for a while too. And somebody is going to extract themselves out of the family period. They're just gonna focus on their money and enjoy the fruits of their labor because they feel. They feel like, damn. They feel like it's nothing is gonna be fortunate. They going with the flow right now. They tr they they got some psychic abilities. <laughs> they got some psychic abilities too. My G said, you need to believe in yourself. Reflect on some things. They said. That's what they said. You need to reflect and meditate before you consider this romance. They need you need to reflect and meditate and be quick witted about it. And don't have no damn fear. You feel like you don't have no security now. You in a dark state. You in a dark state. I'm going to need you to pick your chin up. Whoever I'm talking to, I'm going to need you to pick your chin up. You half and half about this earth sign, though. I'm talking to somebody who paying attention to what's going on within their family concerning an earth sign, a Taurus, a Leo, a Pisces, a Aquarius, a Scorpio. Something happened this spring. Something happened this spring which made you deal with yourself. You had to wake up and you had to be tenacious about it. Because you was half and half. Now you you savage about dealing with yourself and restricting your time and your energy and your love. Because you had some attachments. This person, you was kind of like addicted to this earth sign. That's what my G said. It's a Capricorn addicted to a Taurus. That's, that's what my G said. My G said y'all have a child together. Y'all got a child together. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, have a, a child together, but you're not focused on the relationship with this person. It's been too many difficult and hard times, and you had to persevere. My G said, the ball in your court, though. But it's, it is some competition. It is. It is some competition. But they said you're something like a high priest. Mm -hmm. You're very intuitive. You're spiritually guided by our creator. You know how to indulge. And you've been taking your time to shine. And you just want, you just want everybody to match your vibe because you you say great vibes make shit happen great vibe, and i agree great vibes make shit happen mm -hmm. you realizing your purpose you renew in your spirit you you had lost some hope and some faith but you stored that up you're looking more at the spiritual aspects of things not some more materialistic that's your inspiration at this moment my G says you got silent senses too. That's that in, 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 oh, <laughs> intuition. But you're not boastful about it. They said you glowing too. You glowing. But your energy, your energy is scattered everywhere, which is causing delays. And you quick to spread yourself. Yeah, they said you quick to spread yourself. 
You're too impulsive in your actions when it comes to scattering your energy. My G says, stay to yourself. Because you all over the place. I'm whoever I'm talking to. You all over the place. And what you need to focus on is the sibling rivalry. Because that's where some victory will go, is going to be. I, I said, my G said, you heard what they said. You need to be by yourself. They said three's a crowd. You need to heal. You need some solace time. That's where all your happy issues begin. When you in your own energy. I feel the same way. When I'm in my own energy, I am the happiest camper. The happiest camper. Somebody looking for you. Somebody been looking for you. This fire sign. This Leo Aries or Sash. They they've been looking for you. They trying to reconnect. Yeah, but something came in between y'all. This person, my G said they good and obliging, but they jealous in nature. They deceitful. You look at them like they the opposition. You think they was the wrong choice, but they looking for you. You think they was the wrong choice, though. You, you speak with them calmly, but they don't realize what they be saying because you be catching them in lies. That's what my that's what my G said. They said you be catching catching this person in all type of lies. But you you're very sensual. That's that's what's alluring to them. That's what's seductive. Kismet in nature. They digging you. They think healthy thoughts when they think about you. They trying to stay positive. Somebody eating healthy, too. That's what's up. Let's, let's change our appetite. Get all those free radicals up out of our body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My G said, somebody got passion for you. But they're dealing with their sexuality. They're under a disguise trying to regroup. Whoever this person is, they're a sex fiend. Though. I could be talking to a man or a woman. They're a sex fiend. But they want a new chapter with you. They've been trying to shit and dead some old people, places, and things. And they want to go for what they know. But it's somebody else in the picture. I don't know if it's on your side or they side. So, but yo, parted ways. But they want to come back. This person, this person is indecisive in nature, period. This person is in some a, a painful, negative energy. And they're coming to you for some support. They don't, I don't even think they really want to come and be sexual. Although they are sex free and they want to come and talk to you because... The attraction is mutual, and you help them. Re <laughs> you help them restore some balance because right now they are on an extreme path, and they taking strides trying to adapt. They um trying to seek out some things, seeking out their self for one. My G said they're a little wild. You had to check them, and they had to check themselves. But they've been enlightened about some things and they want to compromise. That's what my G said. They want to compromise. This sibling rivalry, though, it don't be worth it. To be exchanged from your siblings, it don't be worth it. Get that together. Yeah, my G said, get that together. Use your head about this confusion because they said they said you're sapiosexual, so you you're very intellectual. Um, you classy too. You solid. You build differently. 
You got a debonair energy about you, my G said. So my G said, work your mojo. You are magical. Use the law of attraction because love is around you and they want you to expect miracles. You being divinely guided. Get that stuff together with your, with your siblings. Okay? Somebody selfish, though, up out of this sibling rivalry. This this air sign, this Aquarius, this Libra Gemini, this Aquarius, this dark-haired man. They said, this nigga selfish. Mm-hmm. They said, this person is very selfish. And been jealous. They're thinking about some memories in the past that's no longer there. And it's just now coming up. They weren't successful in love and marriage. They didn't have a bunch of second chances and long-term propositions. But they never achieved sudden wealth or power couple status. Those achievements they didn't have. Is this the person that betrayed you? This Aquarius?